Welcome to Fun and Games Side Quests. Every episode is a different host sharing a video game they love and why they love it. Hello, this is Hans Martin Jr., your Real Movie Critic, co-host of the Real Movie Critic vs. the Cine Guy, where you can also find at certainpov.com. And yes, I am back, and yes, I am talking about another fighting game, so sue me. But this one is definitely a fun fighting game, that's for sure. And I am talking about Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Now, there's been a lot of uh, Super Smash Bros. games. However, this one, to me, is the most memorable. And it is for the Wii, which, honestly, I I still love the Wii. I, I still play with the Wii. I mean, of course, I talk about the Nintendo Wii. And to me, it's still one of the fun systems out there that Nintendo has come up with. That's for sure. But when it comes to Super Smash Brothers, obviously, you actually use the Wii uh, controller as like a controller. And I think one of the first things that stands out, why I love the Super Smash Brothers franchise, is you get all these cool different characters. And then you pick a cool stage. And then you duke it out. And it is different different players you can select, like Mario and all the people that come with him. Or maybe Pikachu and all the people that comes with him. And and then you got other people like Kirby and, man, it's, it's so many other characters. Uh, Zelda and Link. Yeah, you, you got a lot of these different characters so you can work with. And But for me... There's a couple characters I like to play with. The first one that I always like to pick is Bowser. Why? I don't know. It just seems like Bowser is just a fun type of character to play with. My favorite part is just showing up out of nowhere and then punching somebody out to oblivion. And, and with his other different moves like the fire breathing or fire blowing or fire crisping. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. And yeah, I, he, he's definitely a fun character to play with. I also like playing with Pikachu. Um, other type of characters too, Kirby, uh, is definitely a fun one, uh, uh, to, to play with, uh, the Pokemon trainer is also there too, where you get one of the three Pokemon, Squirtle, my personal favorite, uh, also Ivysaur and Charizard and me being a big Pokemon fan, that that's awesome to me. But with all that said, one character that they did introduce in this game, which I thought was great. Because I am a big fan of this video game franchise. And that is Solid Snake from the Metal Gear Solid franchise. And he's everything that you want. He has guns. That remote control Nikita grenade launcher. He has bombs that he could set up. And of course he could fight as well with the CQC and stuff like that. If you're a fan of the Metal Gear Solid game you know what I'm talking about. But regardless the the best thing I, I like about the Super Smash Brothers is it's a lot of fun to play with the people around you. It, it, it's something that definitely passes the time away. And you, y'all you just grab a controller, pick your characters, and just have at the... It, it, it's fun. I just like punching people around. And sometimes we get very competitive. And we really have to be strategic. And depending on the level and the character you choose, to really try to... To beat that person. And yes, I think with four players makes this game a lot more fun. That's for sure. Now, uh, you know, just give me a couple quick stories of uh, some memories that I have with the Wii. Uh, first things first, I started playing. This game came out when I was in college. That's when I started playing this game. And it was definitely a lot of fun. And especially when you're playing in the door rooms. One of my favorite things is with that special, uh, what do you call it? That special crystal thing. And first thing is just fun, trying to beat people up, trying to get it, and then you get your special move. And then all craziness breaks loose, and you could only hope you could dodge it. And I, I personally like the Solid Snake one, where he gets on a helicopter and has this, you know, this gren- this rocket grenade launcher thing, and you just try to aim it and just blow people out. And... And yeah, it's it's so much fun. I, I don't know. Some people like to play without it, but for me, I think that's part of the fun is to have the, that special move crystal, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, and then I re- obviously, you know, I moved on, the game moved on. 
But it wasn't until I started working again uh, back in the dormitories as a dean. And they had that game for the Wii as well. And we started replaying it again. And not only did it bring back great memories, but it definitely brings out new competition as me, as this old wise master, trying to school these younger kids. And unfortunately, I probably do get beat because that's all what Gen Z people do is just play video games, I guess. <laughs> just joking, just joking. But yes, it's even if I lose, I still have fun. Especially when you play a kid that's very strategic. Like, he has two lives, I have one. And all he does is just swallow me and jump off the ledge. Yeah, that, that's how crazy it could get for me. <laughs> and especially when you think about to beat him, but then you do some type of special move. And then you end up falling off the cliff and you end up losing. Yeah. Ah, oh, man. But you know what? That's the intensity and the funness that comes with the game. It's just a good time every time you play it. I mean, I have played the other ones on the GameCube. Um... What do you call it? the the other Wii version, which I can't remember, which the ones that nobody remembers, and even the Switch. But there's something about Super Smash Bros. Brawl that that is special to me. And every time I see it, it is a lot of fun. And yes, you do need to learn how to play it because some of these levels are very small. You could just fall off real quick. But once you get used to it, it's fun. And so, yes, when we do play, I hope with me as Bowser, I could punch you with that final blow and then you could go fly all the way out and maybe even all the way to the screen and lose that final life. And that's how I beat you. But yeah, that's pretty much all that I want to say about Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii. Still one of my favorite Nintendo game systems. All right, guys, this is House Martin Jr., your real movie critic. And I'll talk to y'all later. Happy gaming. Man, that movie was excellent. It really was. Totally blew my expectations away. I know, right? Now I really want to tell everyone about it. But I'm not sure how. Yeah. If only there was a podcast dedicated to reviewing films and discussing the latest news and trailers on upcoming films. That would be nice. Yes, for sure. And we can call it the Senegai Show. <laughs> what? No. It will be called Real Movie Critic Unleashed. Uh, no. How about Senegai featuring Real Movie Critic? Uh, how about the Real Movie Critic and his sidekick, the Senegai? CG and RMC. RMC and CG. The Real Movie Critic versus the Senegai. Only at CertainPOV.com or wherever you get your podcasts. You're going down, critic. Bring it on, guy. CPOV. CertainPOV.com.